Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 5 of my full platinum walkthrough of God of War 3. The first thing we're going to do is walk back towards the screen from the save point where we ended the previous video and look to the left. There we'll find a hidden chest. This one contains the 6th Gorgonite which will result in our second health upgrade. After that we're going to continue on through the cave until we get to a large gap that we need to use a chain to cross. In the meantime remember to blind enemies using the head of Helios for the best results I use the charge flash by holding down the triangle button. If you haven't gotten the it's getting hot in here trophy yet remember to kill enemies with fire arrows from the bow of Apollo. This part of the walkthrough is very trophy light we'll actually only be getting one which is a story trophy right at the end shoe delivery. We will however be getting quite a few collectibles three gorgon eyes of which we already have the first three phoenix feathers a minotaur horn and a godly possession Hermes coin. Ok I'll be back once we get to the chain that we use for crossing the large cavern. So when we reach this chain that we need to use to cross the gap we don't want to use it straight away, instead we want to drop down directly in front of it and there we'll find a red chest and a hidden chest that contains phoenix feather number 4. After that we'll climb back up, cross the gap using the chain and continue on blinding enemies as we go. Eventually there'll be a cutscene with Pandora and we'll cross another gap using harpies this time, on the other side will be a new enemy type, the wraith. told you I cannot help you but you're the only one who can I know it I trust you you shouldn't
So these are the new enemies, wraiths. Wraiths are really easy to manage, even in groups. You can use heavy attack combos on them as they're easily stunned, so you can juggle them in the air with a constant barrage of triangle attacks. The only other move you need to use against them is the L1 circle move. They like to hide underground, so you'll need to grab them using L1 and circle so you can continue damaging them. Shortly after these three wraiths are dead, we'll be getting another hidden chest, our seventh Gorgon Eye. After the wraiths continue up this hill and look to the right at the top, you'll see some wooden scaffolding. Smash it and then use the head of Helios on the wall behind it to reveal the hidden chest. Open it to find Gorgon Eye number 7. Next continue across the bridge to the left where you'll fight several wraiths while dodging incoming arrows from the distance. After that fight is finished we'll be getting the 5th Phoenix Feather. Now that that fight is done, finish crossing the bridge and turn immediately left on the other side. There will be a very well hidden chest, so much so you won't be able to see it, you'll only see the R1 prompt at the top of the screen. Inside it is Phoenix Feather number 5. Next up Kratos is going to do a bit of flying, it's pretty standard stuff just dodge incoming obstacles by moving Kratos around using the left stick. It's automatically set to the right controls but depending on your age you may need to change them in the menu. I find older players, like myself, seem to use the inverted style while younger players don't. Anyway keep flying and dodging until you stab a titan in the eye and land on a platform.
This section is your typical platforming and climbing while dodging falling debris, so nothing special. But there is a hidden chest about halfway up, just after you've climbed the wall while dodging the falling fireballs. Okay, so in a second we're going to drop down on a platform again, but we're not going to go anywhere just yet. You should see some sparkles in the air directly where Kratos lands. Get out the head of Helios and point it towards them to reveal a hidden chest. Inside is yet another Phoenix Feather which will result in our second magic upgrade. Now we can continue on to the next flying section. As soon as we land in the caverns we want to head right and use Helios' head again to reveal another hidden chest. Inside this one is Minotaur Horn number 5. After that shoot the vines at the back to begin assembling the labyrinth. Right, so on top of this cube is going to be quite a long ongoing fight with Minotaurs constantly trying to break the chain in the middle. You'll start out with some simple sentries first, and don't forget to keep blinding them for the nice tan trophy by the way. Eventually Minotaurs will start to show up and start hacking at the chain. You need to stop them immediately, if it breaks you'll die. This is quite a long section, so try and kill Minotaurs with a finishing move as that will reward you with health orbs. After a while a service will show up. 
when it does focus on attacking it so a circle prompt appears so that you can ride it and make short work of the flood of minotaurs that are going to show up. Once you've dealt with the last wave of minotaurs, you're in the clear and it'll be time to meet a new god, Hermes. We'll climb up the chain to the top of Olympus and there'll be a few cutscenes along the way. Look who it is! Kratos, the ghost of Sparta. The fallen god. The cursed mortal. To catch a fly from the ass of Zeus is not worth my time, Hermes. A coward's words, Kratos. You don't try to catch me because you know you can't. Kratos, where are you off to today? <laughs> Kill any family members lately? Oh, that's right. You're off to kill your father, Zeus. <laughs> Won't
won't happen, can't happen. Kratos is on a fool's errand. Again. Never, never learn. Never, never change. Kratos the fool who killed his own blood. Kratos the fool among mortals and gods. Forever, ever cursed. Forever, ever doomed. Consumed by vengeance to his last breath. The Spartan lights the way to dusty death. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Your eyes do not deceive you, Kratos. It is the same box you opened years ago. The power to kill a god still rests inside. I released those powers when I killed Ares. No. Trapped inside that box, there is a stronger power. It has been missing from the world. It all began when Zeus triumphed over the Titans in the Great War. understood that the evils born from that battle, if left free, would destroy the world of man and gods. To contain these evils, Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to build a vessel strong enough to hold them. Fear. Greed. Hate. He locked them all away in the box in hopes that they would never again infect his reign. When you opened the box to kill Ares, you drew from the forbidden powers. After witnessing your victory, fear gripped Zeus. But the flame is deadly. How can I recover the box? With its namesake, Kratos. Pandora? She is the key to destroying the flame. The key to our revenge. This will be difficult, Spartan. A simple child will not trouble me, Athena. I hope you are right, Ghost of Sparta. Right, so first things first, let's open some chests. Head to the right to go outside and into the circle area where all of the gods were at the beginning of the game. There will be two red chests out there. After that, come back in and save the game before making your way to the back of the room where we're going to uncover a secret area. At the back here on the left side of the chain is a wall panel that will disappear if you point Helios' head at it. Behind it are three red chests and a hidden chest which will contain Gorgon Eye number 8. 
After that, head back into the main area and use the head of Helios on the wall panels on the left hand side to continue the story on. may have brute force, but you lack speed. <laughs> You've been lucky in battle, Spartan, but your luck ends today. Right, so now we have to chase that horrible little turd Hermes around Olympus for a while. This is a standard chase sequence really, we'll be platforming, swinging and climbing while killing enemies in between. Remember to use the head of Helios to blind them before killing them. Also, during one of the sections there is a pack of hellhounds so we can kick them around which will count towards the obedience school trophy. There is an infant hellhound spawn coming up soon but it's best to kick them when you see them so that you don't have to farm it later on. I'll be back at the end of the chase once we've used the catapult. You'll have to try harder. Yeah! 
Okay, so it's time to get another godly possession now, Hermes Coin. It's around the right hand side of the statue's head. This is godly possession 4 of 10. After that, work your way around the left hand side of the room following the blood trail until you double back on yourself and find Hermes. So this is hardly a boss fight at all really, it's more of a series of quick time events. Keep swinging the blades of exile around trying to hit him and at certain points he'll jump at you. You'll need to perform the manoeuvre that appears on screen using the left stick, do enough of these and you'll have the opportunity to finish Hermes off. When he's dead you'll acquire the boots of Hermes that allow you to run up certain walls but most importantly allow you to dodge in midair using the right stick. You'll also get the story trophy, shoe delivery. So this is practically the end of the video now, there are just a few enemies to take care of once Hermes is dead, then I'll end the video at the save point. For that reason, I'll take my leave now. Please do the usual social media stuff, like, share and comment, it helps get my videos out there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in part 6. I am still quick enough for you. I thought Spartans fought with honor, and yet you seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair. But you have your own sense of honor, right Kratos? And what has that honor brought you? Nothing but nightmares of your failure. Today you may defeat me, but in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. Stay <laughs> me <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah! <laughs> 